Catherine Van Dyke is our Cooking With You guest this morning, currently living in De Pere, grew up in the Wrightstown area. In the 7 o'clock hour, she made this awesome sirloin spoon roast. Recipe is online. Doesn't that just look fabulous for a great Valentine's Day meal, but you have to have dessert. You're making a quick and simple tiramisu. Tell us the ingredients and how you do it. It's really super easy, um, and it's so good. Everyone always loves it. You take one block of softened cream cheese, and a quarter cup only of sugar. So it's nice, it's not always about the fat. It's mm. we gotta watch that sugar. So we beat this up till it's nice and frothy, usually around two minutes or so. Um, but today we'll just take it easy, quick way. Okay. So once that's all beat up nice, then we add one little container, which is one cup of cream. And that helps to make it thick. So unlike a tiramisu, you don't have to have all the eggs or anything yeah. like that. And it's very few ingredients. So that's why I and have it an apron on. And it can get a little on. messy. She's got a nice good day Wisconsin apron on. I While do. you're doing that, I'm just going to dump these Nilla wafers, yes. right? Uh -huh. Into this espresso. Yep. And I just got a little packet of espresso. You can use leftover coffee if you want to. Um, that's what I usually do. And you line the bottom and the sides with Because you want a little those. dish for it. And traditional tiramisu, you use lady fingers, but I found sometimes those are hard to find in the grocery store. Yeah. So I like just plain old, the regular size Nilla wafers. You can get low fat as well. And they work just great, and kids like them too. Super easy too. Super easy. When my son was young, he'd take a whole box of Nilla wafers, pour milk on it, and eat it like cereal. <laughs> so you have to watch it. Now I'm going to add um, just a scant half a teaspoon of rum extract. If you don't like rum extract, you can leave it out. You can add vanilla, almond, whatever you like. But rum just goes really well with the tiramisu. Okay, and while you're mixing that, I want to bring up a picture, because you know, we're talking about dessert. You actually help people um, lose weight for a I living. Do. And you lost some weight yourself, and you say everything in moderation. Can you just right. quick tell me about that? Sure, um, I work for Visalis Body by Vi, and what we do is we challenge people to lose 10 pounds. Kids, adults, our world is getting so overweight, yeah. and it's really easy to do, especially where we live. So we challenge people to lose 10 pounds. I challenge everyone out there to lose 10 pounds. So um, when you lose 10 pounds on our Project 10, a child wins. That means that a child that's in need, that is overweight, gets 30 meals of healthy meals, um, healthy shakes for free. And go to our Sponsor. website to learn more about that. Yes, awesome. absolutely. Okay, how do so we finish this, this then? this is almost up here, so we just get rid of this. Okay. And we'll take a spoon, and then what we do is we just put all this yummy stuff right in the middle. See how easy that is? Wow. And it tastes so amazing. Now, you could do this in individual little wine glasses if you have kids. Yeah. And it's really cute. And then what we do is we take a little cocoa powder because that's the true tiramisu. Mm. And I like to add just a little crunch with some chocolate, mini chocolate chips on top. And we garnish with a little easy cut heart shaped strawberries and one in the middle. Catherine, that looks beautiful. Perfect for Valentine's Day, a meal for you at home. Go to our website, you can learn more. I know Doug is going to want to try this. He'll be making his way over here. And Good Day Wisconsin will be right back. This looks fabulous. Thank you.